What you just heard was the intro to Monsters by All Time Low. It was the band's most successful song according to the Billboard Music Charts. It reached number 55 on the Hot 100, number 9 on the digital sales, and spent 18 weeks at number 1 on the alternative airplay charts. This song was constantly played on the radio during 2020 and 2021, and it is the song that introduced me to the band All Time Low. The band quickly became one of my favorites, and I came to learn that they have had a nearly 20 year long career. So let's go back in time to tell the story of All Time Low and why they should be inducted into Sewell's Music Hall of Fame. <coughs> I got your picture, I'm coming with you, dear Maria, count me in. There's a story at the bottom of this bottle. The band started out as four friends in high school covering songs from their favorite band, Blink-182. They lived in Towson, Maryland, a suburb of Baltimore. They played at local events and slowly gained popularity within the community. The band consisted of four members, Alex Gaskarth, Jack Barricat, Zach Merrick, and Rian Dawson. Alex was the lead singer and overall leader of the band. He was in charge of the creative direction of the band and wrote most of their songs. Jack was the guitarist and Alex's best friend. He was the humor of the group and brought smiles to every show. Zach was the bassist and he was the quiet and collected member of the group. Last but not least, Rian was the drummer and the logical member of the group. He was the glue that held the band together and kept all members in check. As their local popularity increased, they signed with the small, local record label Emerald Moon Records. They put out a demo in 2003 and an album in 2005. While recording their music, they toured the East Coast and South of the United States during breaks from school. They would eventually gain a lot of popularity and sign with major record label Hopeless Records in 2006. That's when their career really took off. Their first album with Hopeless Records contained this song, Dear Maria Count Me In, which has both their most total streams on Spotify and views on the music video. But let's get back to something a little bit newer. Even through a 20 year career, the band has not lost or replaced a single member and has remained the same four high school friends. This is their newest single Sleepwalking, which was released in October of this year as they work on their new album. Throughout their career, they have won multiple awards, including five Kerrang! Awards and the 2022 iHeartRadio Alternative Song of the Year. All Time Low has a strong case to be in Sewell's Music Hall of Fame because of their long career, list of awards, and the fact that they worked their way from high schoolers covering Blink-182 to being one of the biggest names in alt-rock.